five of my favorite bicep exercises that you can do at your home, at your office, any place. Using just one chair, please chair, chair, ah. one chair and one gamcha or any towel, any rope. You can do five exercises that will improve and improve the size and improve the strength in your biceps. Ah, he man and the power of his uh, gamcha. Let's go. Exercise number one is something very special. It tones all your muscles in the forearms and also the biceps as we are concentrating. In here, the fingers point towards the feet. That is, your hands are turned backward. Back is straight, as you know. Feet are together and you're looking straight. This is a push-up that will tone the muscles in your biceps. And for more challenge, adding more difficulty, over here you can place your hands on your waist level. Over here like this. And straight, feet together, look straight and this becomes more challenging. Boy, that's tough. <laughs> Come on, I'll try a few more. Come on. And if you feel it is too difficult for you, you can try an assisted push-up. You can use steps or a table or any elevated surface over here like this. It becomes easy. And for adding more challenge to this, you place your hands near to the waist, just like we did in the standard push-up. Number two, you can use a towel over here like this, place it under any one of your legs and let loose. <laughs> After you let loose, we are going to do like a curl over here, you can see. Just lifting the leg, place the towel under the legs, under the knee over here, hands should be stable. What I mean by that is, you will have to lock your elbows in so that your elbows do not move in a to and fro kind of an action. Just like you do in the gym, this is the same effect and if you ask me, it is more effective. And if you are in an office kind of situation, use any cable, wire or anything, but at your own risk. And guess what? You can even do it with a chair. And can also lean on the chair over here, as you can see. Always adjust both the strings and both the ends of the towel to be the same length. And over here, you have to complete the curl and always try and twist that little extra. See how I am doing? I am not only pulling it in, but I am also trying to pull that outside and get that full curl. Okay, full. Yes! Number 3 is very important. It is an isometric exercise. Now what do you mean by that? It is an exercise in which you do not move a muscle but already keep it in a stable position. Just don't move. It is an isometric exercise that is muscles do not move. They are just kept in a strenuous position over here like this. You have to lift your leg. Any one of your leg you can lift in a sitting posture and using your towel you can keep your hands in that L shape and stay there. Try to be over there for a minute or two and stay stable over there for some time. This is something very important, very effective. Now as you can see over here, the position is not very loose. I just lifted my leg over there, but it is getting tougher. It is something like that. That is the importance of an isometric exercise. And notice what is happening. My hands are not going in the direction of the uh, towel or something. I am curling in. You see that twist? That is very important. You have to stay in that position. And for passing out time in this position, you can sing a song or watch a movie or something like that. <laughs> Just kidding. Ta-da! It can be also done in a chair. Over here, you sit on the edge of a chair. Make it tight. And over there, lift your legs over there. Stay in that isometric position. Stay. 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 <laughs> And exercise number four, I'm going to wrap the towel around a tree over here. Do not worry if you do not have a tree over here available like this. You can even use a pillar or any window pane or anything available to you over here like this. Place the legs over here and we are doing like an assisted pull up over here. Stay stable, back straight and we are going to curl in. In a curling in position when the curling is over, that is our fist, the inside part should be facing us. And if this looks easy to you, you are wrong. And I wish to give more importance to this technique that you have to curl in. The fist should be facing inwards, just like the end of the moment you see. It is not easy, but that is the only way you get the most out of this exercise. Yes, finally moving to exercise number 5. Over here you do not need any equipment. Over here you use both your hands and the formula is push, assist and focus. That is, using both your hands, you push in opposite directions and move it something like this. This is an inverted U over here. That is, the hand that is in the bottom comes up and the upper hand goes back. It is almost a tricep and a bicep exercise together, but we'll be focusing more on the bicep movement. That is, the hand that comes up has to be given more importance. That is, the focus should be there. 
in other words your mind should be in the muscle what i mean by that is your mind should have total understanding you should be conscious of which muscle group is being used your focus should be on the bicep over here this is something very exciting very easy simple it looks simple but it is very effective you should use this something very easy and my favorite if you like this video hit the like button subscribe and press that bell icon